Hi, this is Candy Shaw with Tips and Tricks Tuesday, and I am in Stockholm, and I was thinking as I was painting my lovely model Anna's hair, that sometimes when you're trying to get rid of foil lines or a line of demarcation, we crack the egg and we color melt from the top of the scalp out. But in this case, it's really more in the middle. So once I've locked my lightener onto my paddle, all I have to do is lightly paint inside where this blonde lives and just really bruise onto that hair to remove and or tone that hair which had a little too much of the blonde. Doesn't mean that I have to go all the way up to the scalp because inevitably she already owns this color. So I've mixed a shifting color by Wella, which is a 7-0 and a 7-3 with 1.9. And basically I'm just erasing. So I'm using my brush almost like an eraser to erase out that unwanted line and to create that depth and that darkness. And when it's locked onto my paddle like this, it gives me ultimate control. That control allows me to come back in and make sure that exactly where I painted my light is there, make sure exactly where I paint my dark is there, and it gives me the tension that I need in order to draw essentially onto the hair. So I'm drawing onto that hair and creating that diffused seamless line at the same time. Now sometimes you'll see me where I paint out the lines by pinching and twisting and then painting a big V, but in this case, all I was wanting to do was erase uh, where that foil line was and place my light in. And again, locking to my paddle allows me the ultimate control so that I can come back up and make sure that I have wonderful saturation. Now when I'm ready to drop my next section down, and you can sort of see here where um, my color is, so you can see how diffused that line is and how that comes up and down, just like the hair would naturally lighten on its own. So now when I come down and paint the brakes on the top, this will be my top section, giving me uh, the nice dimension that I want in this balayage after all. So stay tuned for more tips and tricks with Candy Shaw.